Hello guys, in this video, we are going to check together if it makes sense for one of my portfolio company to um, speculate <laughs> on the price of a commodity. Just to give you a little bit of context, in one of uh, our company, we trade a wood pallet. And now we have a question. So would it make sense to go buy 10 trucks of wood pallet, stuck it somewhere? and just wait for the winter to come. And usually during the winter, the price uh, shoot up. So um, I've done the, the calculation and I'm going to work you through uh, this shit together. Uh, so even if you don't really trade the wood pallet, but you trade any other product, you can start to see uh, what you need to look for. Um, of course, wood pallet, there is no way to age. So this is really like you buy it and then you take the market in your face. <laughs> okay, so let's... Um, Let's check the Excel sheet. Okay, so what we need to see. So here we are the supplier price X work. So this is roughly what we buy right now from uh, Ukraine, 200 euros per metric ton. Then there is a cost X work to DDP. For those of you that don't know your income term, it's important to know them. <laughs> but this is basically here's the cost um, per metric ton to load from the factory and then transport the good to the custom and so on, and then um, unload it at the storage facility. So when we have the goods unloaded at the storage facility, this is the price uh, of the goods, what we have paid. And now let's say that the cost of carry is two euro per metric ton per week. So the cost of carry is the price of renting the storage unit, uh, the insurance price, and the cost of uh, financing. So this is basically the cost of carrying the good through the tag. So here we have uh, two euro per metric ton per week. Let's say that we want to uh, stock the good for six months, then to be in the peak winter when the price of the wood pallet is at its peak. So the cost of carry is then 72 euro per metric ton. That means that if we add the, here this is the formula, this is not really too complex. Uh, if we add the cost of, uh, of the cost in storage plus the cost of carry uh, times uh, six months, this is what we get, 342 euro per metric ton. So, so this is what our product would be costing uh, six months down the line. So that means that if we want to break even, uh, the cost of the wood pallet needs to increase, the price of the wood pallet needs to increase to uh, 72 euro per metric ton. So this is only to break even. So uh, that's, that's the first part of the equation. And it shows that, I mean, the cost needs to rise uh, a lot just to make it and uh, make it work. But th there is more, more to it uh, actually. And this is exactly what we are going to see. So this is only the first part of the equation. Let's see the other part. Then there is a cost of opportunity. The cost of opportunity is what we would do with this money if it was not uh, locked in the, the inventory. So let's say that we want to buy 10 trucks. Uh, it's 23 metric ton per trucks. The amount of capital immobilize, immobilize is um, 62,100 euro. So now, if we amiabilize uh, this for 30, 36 weeks, what could we do as an alternative with this money? Usually our deals takes four weeks of capital immobilized. So the time that we buy from the supplier and that we get the money from uh, our, our buyers, it's usually four weeks. Then in 36 weeks, we can do nine deals. Then it, it gives an idea that uh, if everything goes well, in 36 weeks, we could do nine deals with this money. So again, usually we do 4% uh, gross margin. So this is the amount of money that we make. In the nine deals, uh, it will uh, make a little bit more than 22,000 euro. So if we divide that by a uh, metric ton, our cost of opportunity is 108 euro. So that means that if we buy and let uh, an inventory for six months sitting there, with that capital, we would be able to make 108 euro profit per metric ton. So now the real question is how high need the market to go to really not lose money <laughs> on the capital invested in the inventory. And this is when it had become a little bit scary to see that. So now if we add the cost of opportunity to the our previous uh, break-even point, we see that a real break-even pod is 380 euro per metric ton. And have in mind that right now we are buying this product at 200 euro per metric ton. So that means that the price of the products needs to double 
uh, we make the same amount of money with an inventory. So man, it begs a lot of questions. So uh, do you want to take the risk of the price not increase, increasing to that amount to make money? So that's, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that the price of the wood pallet this winter will go ballistic. But again, it's, uh, it's a kind of a gamble. Maybe we will do a little bit of storage. So then we have more uh, optionality to service our client better. So that could be an idea, but that wouldn't only be to, to speculate because you see that if we take the, the full amount, so the cost of carry plus the cost of opportunity of what we could do with this money, it doesn't make sense to, to store right now uh, anything. And also one of the things that if you want to grow, it's important to have like a big revenue to show to the banks, to the financier. So then if you have a large stock, it does not really increase uh, your revenue that much. So it's better to do as much as, as possible even though uh, with each deal there is a lot of risk than uh, to take a lot of this money and uh, speculate with an inventory. That's it for me today. I hope that you liked the video, that you learned something uh, and that was a fruitful thought. Ciao!